In the year 2000, something incredible happened that changed the housing market forever. It made buying a house for our generation harder than ever, and I'm going to show you in Tableau exactly how it all happened. So let's go. Here we are in Tableau, and before we get started, I just want to say thanks to all those who are signing up to the Jellyman Education course, and you can find that on jellyman-education.thinkific.com, link is in the description, and a lot of people are signing up, learning Tableau, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's get into our analysis. The reason I did this was because I actually am into real estate and investing and helping people manage their finances and just getting really good with their money. And it affects everyone along the whole spectrum. So whether you're earning like 50,000 all the way to 200,000, we all deal with the same problems because I see a lot of people who are making 200,000 a year and they're having money issues and there's people who are on 50,000 and they have a lot of savings. So what is going on there? So what this analysis shows is what happened in the year 2000 and how it's affected us buying houses. Now, I live in Australia all the way at the bottom, but this has happened in countries like the United States and maybe it's happening in your country as well. So let's get started. I also wanted to demonstrate in this one how you display information in Tableau. So it's not just about a data dump. Always think like a journalist when you're telling a story and you're trying to guide the person through what you're trying to say. So here we go. As you can see here, it goes, full-time earnings struggled to keep up with dwelling prices since the year 2000. So this is in Australia. And as you can see here, the ratio between the full-time earnings up until about the year 2000, maybe about 1997, they're about the same, right? So around this period here, they pretty much match, which means that as housing prices go up, our incomes match it. So the time it takes to save up for a house should stay relatively constant. So even though maybe back in the 70s, you know, the, you know, income for the year is like, I don't know, $50,000 after tax or something, the cost of housing was maybe 200,000, right? So it was kind of reasonable. Now from memory, it takes about three to four, maybe five years-ish to save up for a house back then. And what's interesting today is that we get comments like, oh, just buy a house already. And the thing is, we would if we could, but it's very hard to articulate why we can't. Also, there's a lot of families that can't start, well, they can't start their families. A lot of them just have a single child. They don't have like three or four, or in my dad's case, 10, uh, <laughs> uh, those kinds of size families because the, the world has changed. So what has happened after the year 2000 and what does it look like today? So back in the day, right? So I would say 1970s year 2000 takes about three to five years to save up for a house. How long does it take to buy a house now in Australia? So let's go to the next slide. And here's another visualization. And as you can see, it's very simple. It sets the tone of the question, uh, it sets the tone of the slide by a question. So you never want to do a dashboard that just says summary. Okay, so the question sets how the person will interpret the results. So if you start it with a question, their brain will automatically try and answer it with the visualization you've provided. So you always try and connect the two and it makes reading your visualization much easier. So how many years will it take to save up for a house in Australia? Well, we need two figures. The, one, the first one is what is the median household income? And the other one is the median house price. And we need to relate the two to figure out how many years. So here's how I did it. So in New South Wales, the medium ho median household income in 2023 was just about $90,000. So assuming you can save 20% per year, that's 18,000. Okay, so you can see it's a percentage of. And notice that I did not provide a label here, but I did provide one here. And the reason you do that is because if you don't provide a number, the person won't read it. So the colors kind of jump out at you and that's what you want them to focus on. This is just secondary information, the gray. And that's the other reason I made it gray. It is secondary data. It is not the main focus of what we're doing. So here we have $18,000 savings per year. And then here, when it comes to income, uh, uh, house price, you can see the median house price in New South Wales, which is just crazy, $1.4 million. Now, obviously it changes suburb to suburb, but this is median, so we can kind of trust that. So the 20% deposit for that uh, 
median house price is about 300,000, which is just insane. It is insane. Now, why 20%? To buy a house in Australia, you need to have a 20% deposit for the house. So what we can do from this calculation is we can say, well, if you can save $18,000 a year and it, you need 287, Okay, if you divide one by the other, it'll give you the number of years. So let's see what that actually looks like. So as you can see here, I only reference kind of the worst area. So that's being Victoria, which is where I live, and then New South Wales. So if you take one number divided by the other, in New South Wales, it takes 16 years to save up for a house. 16. Victoria is 13.8. Now, depending on which research you look at could be a little bit more a little bit less from what i hear with new south wales 16 is about right some some of them are quoting maybe somewhere 12 to 14 victoria is somewhere around 11 but i would say anything longer than seven eight years that's really hard for our generation because you're assuming for a six year stretch 10 year stretch you've had the same job nothing bad has happened there's no emergency nothing cuts into your savings so it becomes very difficult to save up for a house. So when you have someone in the older generation, you know, the baby boomers saying, oh, you know, just buy a house already. We would if we could, but it's not that simple. So as you can see from this very, very simple kind of analysis, it's a very simple thing we're trying to um, answer. You set the tone with the questions and you only provide the information to answer those questions. So keeping it really simple. That is it. So a little bit different this time. Hope we, uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you at the next one. Bye.